Okay, once the uh, deployment is completed, we can actually configure it as a service. So let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. Very similar process, very similar commands. So again, we're going to use uh, cube control to create the YAML file for us. So we'll say cube control. Here we're going to say create service cluster IP. And we're going to give it the name that we did before. So that was KBE REST. In this case, we want to expose the ports. So we want to do TCP equals. Remember, Tomcat's running on 8080. We're going to expose that port for that. And again, we're going to use a strive run flag because we're not telling Cube Control to actually create the service. We want that to actually be output. And then we need to do the minus O of YAML for the output. And again, we're going to redirect that. And we will call this service YAML. Like so see that runs pretty quick. I do an LS. You can see that I have the deployment that we previously created. Now we have the service. And now if I come in and do cube control, again, apply minus F for file. This time we're going to tell it the service. And we see that that gets created fairly quick. And we can do cube control again, get all. And now we can see the uh, service has been created. All right here, the we have the service KBE REST. It gets a cluster IP. So this is giving a specific IP address and also exposing the port 8080 where our Tomcat application server is running. So that, that was the command to create the service. We never did take a look at uh, the actual file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do a VI into the service. And you can see, again, this is uh, YAML. So API version 1, kind service. It provides it some metadata. But the primary thing that we are uh, looking at is the ports, 8080, uh, protocol TCP. And then the selector, it's going to the app that we previously created in the deployment of KBE Rust, and we're giving it a type of cluster IP. So again, this is a, a very minimal service file of, of the creation, and we just specified the basic options that we needed to create this. And if you're not familiar with VI, just uh, colon Q to exit that, and we'll go ahead and clear this.